The Intro to History of Science class is a very broad course, obviously. Uh, it is an intro course, after all. Uh, and so we start right uh, sort of at the beginning of human thought with uh, ancient Babylonian and Mesopotamian creation epics. Uh, so really the beginnings of how humans thought about the environment and the world around them and their relationship to it. Uh, we move uh, right through antiquity in the Middle Ages, uh, the early modern period, right up until modern times. The aim is not so much to cover the different theories one after the other, but to understand the questions and how the questions have changed and what makes them meaningful today uh, for us. And so we look at the evolutions of questions, how we came to formulate them and understand uh, them better. It's truly one of those courses that can interest any kind of student, whether you're a student in the sciences or whether you're a student in the humanities. It's a course that um, challenges really every kind of student. Having um, um, a whole range of students with different backgrounds and interests in the same classroom really adds to an amazing, uh, the, the amazing chemistry of class discussion. I, I originally took it uh, for the reason that I, I did need a science credit and I, I thought that that would be a, a fun and interesting way to get it, but it really did broaden my uh, horizons, it really opened my mind up to thinking about science in a way that I'd never looked at it before and taking the course is really what convinced me to do it um, for my degree, which is what I ended up doing. Uh, and I mean, I really fell in love with a lot of the questions that we were asking and especially how at the beginning of the class there was all this uncertainty about what the world was and it was so confusing to the ancients. And then at the end of the class with things like quantum mechanics or even uh, some of the biology stuff that we were looking at, those questions arise again. You know, who are we? Uh, what is the nature of objectivity? How objective can science be? It helps us understand that science is an intimately human creation and that it depends upon uh, the, all, the, uh, all the, the, the best that we have in us as uh, thoughtful, creative people, as inquis inquisitive people. And that, the history of that inquisitiveness, of that questioning about nature, is itself uh, uh, full of drama and uh, full of twists and turns and uh, uh, has, has been embedded in the long history that is the development of Western civilization. Understanding something about that makes science itself more interesting because it places it in the context of uh, a broader story which is the exciting one of the human attempt to understand what's going on in the world.